The black level on a TV is really important to determine the, the contrast of the TV. The darker the black level, the better the contrast on the TV is going to look. So we test about 200 TVs every year. Uh, we have uh, 10 TVs in here every week that we finish uh, for an extended period of time, which adds up, adds up to about 200 TVs a year. So basically, you know, TVs come in, uh, we assemble them here in-house, we do an inventory of features, uh, and we do an ease of use evaluation, which basically means we check the manufacturer's claims, uh, make sure that the TVs do everything the manufacturers say that they can do. Uh, we quickly evaluate you know, how easy is the remote to use, how easy is it to get to uh, internet features and things like that. There's a, a series of tests that we do. We evaluate the, the black level of the TV, um, the color, sound, um, HDR, 4K performance, and then once all those individual tests are done, we move them to another lab and we do a few uh, full viewing evaluation. Initially, we use test patterns and things like that to kind of uh, stress the TV and see the, the overall performance. And once we move to the other lab, the, the full viewing evaluation is done with content that's available to consumers. So like a real movie, we sit down, we have all the TVs side by side, and we can compare to see exactly what a person's going to see at home. Uh, so we, when we're watching movies, we look for specific things that we can um, call out on the TVs. So a movie like Gladiator, for example, has a lot of good dark scenes that we can use. When the, the lights are on, everything looks kind of okay. The black levels all look pretty good. Once the lights are turned off, then you can really see the difference in the TVs. This one over here looks much darker, while these other ones tend to look a lot brighter. So we start standing directly in front of the screen, then we move off to about 45 degrees off angle, and then we do a comparison between what the TV looked like head on and while standing off to the side. Basically what we're looking for is to see how blurry the motion, how blurry the text looks when the content's in motion on the TV. So for example, on this TV, it's not so blurry. On a TV like this one, you can see the text gets very blurry. So we have a bunch of secret shoppers that uh, work for Consumer Reports. And what they do is they go out and they purchase all the products that we test. Um, the reason why they're called secret shoppers is because we really don't want manufacturers to know that we work for Consumer Reports. We don't want to have a sample that's souped up and there's nothing wrong with it given to us to test. We want to make sure that all our samples are just like anybody at home would go out and purchase. Yeah, so like in my house, I'm the only person allowed to sit right in front of the TV. Everybody else sits to the side. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.